UN panel of experts found that weapons were coming out of Eastern Europe and the Middle East and making their way to South Sudan, according to the news agency AFP, which saw the confidential report. Those deals involved a middleman in Senegal and the shipments were often transferred through Uganda before being passed on to South Sudan. The panel found the deals dated back two years and specifically involved Bulgarian and Israeli companies sending thousands of weapons, helping to fuel the civil war in South Sudan. In one instance, in July 2014, a shipment of 4,000 assault rifles and ammunition was sent from Bulgaria to Uganda. The UN experts reported that fighters loyal to the exiled former vice president, Rick Machar, were recently discovered in the Democratic Republic of Congo with Israeli-made automatic rifles. The panel found those had been sent to Uganda in 2007. The report has now been presented to the UN Security Council, which has threatened to impose further sanctions and an arms embargo on South Sudan. That could happen if the UN believes President Salva Kiir's government is preventing the deployment of a UN-mandated regional force. The head of UN peacekeeping, Ove Ladsus, said this week the arms embargo should happen now. Nick Harper, CCTV, New York.